Hello there. In this video, we are going to introduce the new feature we have in Office 365 to uh, set notification emails when something is happening in the services we have in Office 365. So if something is gone, if we have issues, we have problems, we can easily get notified about this, those issues without having to uh, access the Office 365 admin center and then browse the health service dashboard and check what's happening there. So we can uh, get notifications real time in our inbox or even in a Microsoft Teams channel or in an Office 365 group. So let's see how it works. First of all, here I am in my Office 365 tenant um, and as an Office 365 admin, I can access the admin features we have in Office 365. So I'm now landing in the Office 365 admin page. Um, I need to click on show all so I can access and the health, the service health page. Here we are. So as you can see here, this is the health dashboard where we can see if everything is fine or as it's happening in this case, we have incidents. We have, we're having incidents with one, one for business, SharePoint Online and Skype for business. It doesn't matter because it's not uh, the purpose uh, of this video. So how do I set up notifications by email to my uh, email account or to a Microsoft Teams channel? As you can see here, we have a preference button. I can click on this button and a configuration panel is going to show up. In this configuration panel, I can define up to two email addresses where I want to send notification about the issues that are happening in my Office 365 services. Indeed, as you can see here, I already set up this feature. So um, in this case, what I just did is just to type the email account of my user. That is actually a global admin in this tenant, and I also indicate uh, the email of an Office 365 group. As I say, I could also indicate the email address of a Microsoft Teams team. That's not the case, but this is something that you can do. And then the next thing you have to do is just um, simply select which, uh, sorry, which Office 365 services you want to get notification when something is happening on those services. By default, all the services are checked. So you are going to get notification for any issue happening around any service in Office 365. Very straightforward. So when you're, once you are done, you only need to click on save and you are done. So we can click closing this panel. And next question you can make yourself if, okay, uh, how a notification looks uh, like? I can answer this because since I have already done this setup before, I'm receiving already notifications about things happening in my tenant. So in this case, as you can see here, uh, I receive a notification about something happening with Skype for Business. Um, this is the kind of email you can expect. So you can see just information about the incident itself, about when uh, the incident started, uh, the status, service degradation, and then the user impact. And if you want to see more details about this issue, you only need to click on the issue ID. Here you go, and then you will be redirected to the service health dashboard, in this case, to the history uh, category. And then, as you can see here, you have the details panel of this incident, where you have, where, sorry, where you can see all the additional information you are not seeing in the email. Obviously, this is the email you receive as a notification, but all the details are, as expected are in the health dashboard in Office 365. And that's all. I think this is a very useful feature for Office 365 admin because they are going to get notified in real time about uh, any problem that is happening around uh, services in Office 365. That's all from my side for uh, today. I hope you have found this video useful. Uh, yeah, talk to you soon. Bye bye.